In today's video, we're going to be looking at the differences between the Conor Corso and the English Mastiff. Both of these spectacular breeds have loyal followings and a deep devotion to their families. Let's see how they compare head to head. Welcome back to the Conor Corso channel. If this is your first time here, my name's Hattie. I'm a certified canine leader here at FenwayCanineLeaders.com. This channel is dedicated to helping you learn everything you could possibly want to know about the Conor Corso, and then how to become high level canine leaders that can raise perfect Conor Corsos. So if you're a lifelong Conor Corso lover, you're thinking about getting one, or you've just started your journey with your new Conor Corso, then this channel is for you. So make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn the notification bell so you never miss a future Conor Corso video. So let's dive into today's video and we'll take a deeper look at the main differences between these two amazing breeds. Let's look at the history of each of these breeds a bit so we can see how their early jobs still affect their temperament today. The Conor Corso, also known as the Italian Mastiff, originated in the region we know today as Italy. The breed was originally a war dog in the Roman Empire, and they were a jack of all trades. They would help herd the animals that the armies travelled with to feed the soldiers, and they were also used in the battles themselves in various ways. After the Roman Empire fell, many of the soldiers brought Conicorsos home with them, so the breed went from war dog to farm dog, a big game hunter. The English Mastiff we know today originated in medieval England. The records of the Mastiff date back to ancient Egypt. Used as dogs of war, estate guardians, and big game hunters, the English Mastiff was much more ferocious than the lovable beasts we know today. At the end of World War II, it was estimated that only 14 English Mastiffs were left in the entire UK. Breed fanciers in the UK and US worked to resurrect the breed and were responsible for soothing their temperament without losing their most attractive aspects like guarding and willingness to please. Both breeds are solid muscle and have a boxy build to go along with square heads and jaws, and both can be droolers thanks to their heavy jowls. The Conor Corso typically ranges between 120 to 150 pounds, but as the breed was only recently accepted into the AKC in 2010, there is still quite a bit of size variety in the breed. They have a short double coat that sheds twice a year and comes in a wide range of colours from fawn to black to various brindles and many others. They're the most lean of the Mastiff family and are extraordinarily athletic in all of their movements. Some courses we wore of a typical Mastiff appearance with heavier jowls, slower gaits and more stocky builds, while others will have a more refined and graceful appearance. Again, this is due to their relatively new status as a registered breed. English Mastiffs are quite imposing in their size, which ranges from 120 pounds to 230 pounds. They have a short double coat that comes in a variety of colors with fawn and brindle variations are common among the breed. They can be graceful and light movers when they want to be, but generally have a slow, steady gait. Like most canines in the Mastiff family, which include the Great Dane and Bull Mastiff, they are very jowly and you can expect plenty of drool around the house and on you. Both are suited to family life but for different reasons. Both breeds are very eager to please and both are generally considered fairly intelligent, but their energy really sets the two breeds apart. Hey guys, very quickly, I just wanted to ask, are you following us over on Instagram? If you're not, there's two accounts that I would love for you to check out. The first one is our brand account, at Femria Canine Leaders, where you can see more about our industry-leading products that we create. If you're interested in following me personally, that's at I am Will Atherton, where you can see behind the scenes of me working with some of the most extreme behaviour cases in the world and what it takes to run these kind of YouTube channels. And maybe if you just want to be able to come over and chat with me, that's the place for you. So there'll be links down in the description box for both of our Instagram pages. I'd love for you to come and check them out and hopefully we'll chat over there. Corsos are fairly easy to train because of their higher energy level as they're quicker to act on your command and more willing to excel at higher levels of obedience or formal training work. The Corso is also very eager to please, but they can be stubborn and willful, especially from years one to four and throughout their life. The English Mastiff is loyal and protective of its family, but their low energy levels means they're more of a cuddler than a player. They love to be with their family and keep an eye on them for as long as possible without moving from their favourite comfy spot. Their willingness to please is tempered by their energy which can make them stubborn and willful when they aren't in the mood to do anything. They are incredibly loyal to their family, even new babies, and take their role as protective very seriously. And this instinct overrides their laziness when it comes to guarding their family. Both are wonderful family dogs, so their temperaments and motivations are very different. Conor Corsos are extremely affectionate and are happiest when they can be very near or physically touching you, with the rest of their family close by as well. They are prone to separation anxiety because they do bond so closely with the person who primarily feeds and trains them and they don't always do well by themselves. 
In most cases, as long as you're seen as their calm, consistent leader, both breeds will look to you for guidance in any situation. The English Mastiff is a wonderful family dog and their guarding instincts are more of a watch than a guard dog, but they have all the power and dedication needed to defend their home physically. As far as being part of the family, English Mastiffs are exceptionally gentle and affectionate canines with children. They're typically friendly with strangers while maintaining close bonds with everyone in their immediate family. This is another breed that is velcroed to their people and will follow you from room to room. Experienced canine leaders will find excellent guardians and family companions in both the Conor Corso and the English Mastiff. Those looking for a top-notch home guardian will love the English Mastiff if their frequent drooling isn't an issue. Families looking for an active canine partner for agility or running will find the Conor Corso a playful and an enthusiastic canine, always up for an adventure. Before bringing either breed into your home though, consider your level of leadership before bringing either breed into your home though, consider your level of leadership and the time you'll be able to devote to these loyal breeds. I hope you enjoyed today's video and if so, make sure you hit that like button, get involved down in the comment section below and don't forget that if you're new here to make sure you subscribe. We have two dedicated Conor Corso videos coming here every week. So I can't wait to talk to you again on the next episode of the Phone Road Conor Corso Show.